Hello. And then he'll go on a little walk. <laughs> a little walk. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Come on. Can't quite tell who's faster. Can <laughs> <laughs> shuffle? Can he be dance again? <laughs> If you move his arm slightly to the left or slightly to the right, he'll move oh, either way. When he makes that ooh noise, he's using his recognition software to actually identify faces. So he's looking for faces around the room. When he sees them, he makes that little noise. You're very, you're very sure you've not walked a humanoid before? <laughs> if you actually move his arm, and this upsets children, but I'll trust you with this one. If you move his arm upwards, in an upwards direction, and you keep going back... <laughs> it goes in reverse. And of course, it's a really interesting piece of programming, but it's actually a really nice thing to do with some children because they have to wait for the robot, otherwise he falls over. And if they go pulling back, you'll let up a little screen, so it actually gets children to start thinking about how... <laughs> yeah, that's just me. <laughs> and if you just drop his arm down... So if you just let it go floppy, just drop it down from that one, and walk away from it, you've abandoned your first ever robot. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs>